And we are back live here in the ACW Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. That move, that matchup earlier in Canada was pretty cool, though. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is good to four. One fall. Making his way to the ring from Oregon, Texas. Weighing in at 321 pounds. He is that wild cowboy, Stan the Lariat Hanson. Stan the Lariat Hanson on his way to the ring, being successful at the last ACW Divide and Conquer last Sunday. And I gotta say though, that was due to a dominating fashion taking out El Mongol Jr. No doubt about it, El Mongol Jr. is already a part of the ACW roster and is already on a losing streak since day one. No doubt about it though, El Mongol Jr. better be determined to be a part of the ACW roster and uh-oh. I think it's time for the ACW to fade to black because here comes the wicked Aleister Black. Well, Aleister Black may have been through a lot in his career, I'll tell you that much. But I'll tell you this, because if I were standing the Laird Hansen, I was thinking about getting out of the ring because the wicked Aleister Black is here to fight and he's not afraid of mixing it up with anybody. I don't know about it. It's my goodness. Listen to this crowd going nuts in the ACW Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. And his opponent. From at Manchester, from Manchester, Netherlands, weighing in at 215 pounds, Alistair Black. Alistair Black has so many opportunities at the ACW Tag Team titles, even the ACW title one time. No doubt about it, lost that opportunity ever since day one, including the Next Generation title. And if I were Alistair Black, I would rethink the strategy of going down in his career here in ACW. No doubt about it, he's been through a lot in his career and would love more than anything to either be a part of the TNW roster or the HWF roster. Well, no doubt about it, my mind, the wicked Aleister Black's been through a lot in his career after arriving here. And I gotta say though, it takes guts. And this man has a lot of it to spare. <laughs> but Aleister Black, on the other hand, has been through a lot in his time but he would love more than anything than to become champion. I pointed out earlier. <laughs> but as far as I do know, this is gonna be an amazing match. Stan the Laird Hansen versus the wicked Alistair Black. No doubt about it, as you could tell, Alistair focused and determined to win here tonight, here in ACW. No doubt about it, he's been through a lot in his career after arriving here, but his tag team run was pretty well with Ricochet and of course, Mad Wreck. And ever since his time with Mad Wreck, that changed and that partnership went south since day one. Well, no doubt about it in my mind, these two are really gonna give it their all tonight. They're trying to see and show everyone why they belong here. And here we go, referee calls the bell and this one's underway. And a kick to the spine there by Stan the Laird Hansen, and it's really going to town on the wicked Aleister Black. Well, he's wicked, all right, but this man deserves respect. He deserves to be where he's at on top of the wrestling mountain. But no doubt about it in my mind, as you can tell, Aleister Black's been through a lot in his career. And he's, even, he's even won the Dusty Rhodes Classic with Ricochet and won the NXT Tag Team titles. Yeah, but they're both high flyers, don't forget that. And Stan the Laird Hansen is wasting no time showing you why he also deserves to be where he's at. Those kicks right there by Aleister Black showing the Laird that, that he's not gonna back down from a fight and that arm drag did it. And I'm even stunned out of my mind that this match is going on. Just how is Aleister Black gonna survive a cutter into a submission hold, unbelievable maneuver there by Aleister Black as he's got it fully applied. But the Lariat escaped it, wanted no part of that submission hold. Well, bottom line is, anything goes, Aleister Black, this is a noble match, doing whatever it takes to knock out the legendary Stan the Lariat Hansen. He's competed in Japan, he's even competed in the AWA, even in WCW. 
Oh, that bad. He was once in WWE years ago after breaking the neck of Bruno San Martino, and he was exiled ever since. And the only man to ever fear this man was Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman said he was a fearless man, but he really fears Stan Hansen. I don't tell you that much. <laughs> but it was a good thing that Paul Heyman didn't want to work with this man because he's one of the most dominant individuals. And you can tell, though, Stan the Laird Hansen is really showing off his power any way that he can. And there's a scoop slam takedown on Aleister Black. The man was a former AWA World Heavyweight Champion and a former United States Champion by defeating the legendary Lex Luger. And right now, though, you can tell that the Lariat in trouble. Oh, well, wait a minute. The wicked Aleister Black right now was in trouble in the early goings, but he's coming back here in this fight. The wicked one already down and out by, at the hands of the Lariat, and you can tell as it looks to kill. And, uh oh, the Lariat with a sleeper hold, and he's got it fully applied to Aleister Black. Is he going to tap out? And there's a jawbreaker. Well, that jawbreaker did it, just my God. There's those kicks and a knee lift to the face. Running axe handle, nobody home. But that flat over, DDT, no! The Lariat with a counter into a big back body drop. What a smart move there by the Lariat, Stan Hansen. Oh, he's got him into the pile driver. More likely, and more, more appropriately, the Texas pile driver. One of the most dangerous pile drivers we've ever seen in professional wrestling. Here's the cover. Could he win it all right here? Two, no. And, uh oh. The Lariat thought he had the wicked Alistair Black down after that pile driver. And this match is still going on. I gotta say, though, this, the atmosphere here is really off the pace. And an inverted DDT takedown by Alistair Black. Oh, my. Both men. Had the same, both men were down and out, and Alistair was wisely getting to the heck out of Dodge there, wanting no part of Stan the Lariat Hansen. The Lariat going for the Lariat. But a running STL takedown by Alistair. Saw that one coming. Well, Alistair right now has got the Lariat right where he wants him now into an arm ringer. What's he gonna do here? I don't know, but. Uh oh. I think the Lariat is telling him to get up. More likely the Wicked One's telling the Lariat to get up. In trouble, Black Mass. The Black Mass in the face of the Lariat. That one's got to be it. And a smart move by the Wicked One to move the Lariat away from the ropes. Here's the cover. Is this it right here? And Aleister Black picks up the win. What a win for the Wicked Aleister Black tonight and taking out the Hall of Famer and the legendary Stan the Lariat Hansen. Oh, that bad. This was a phenomenal match, I'll tell you that much. Both men were always fatigued, gave it their all. Here is your winner, Alistair Black! Well, what a win for the wicked Alistair Black tonight, taking out Stan the Lariat Hansen. Not that bad in my mind here, folks. Stick around, because coming up next, an ACW superstar in one-on-one -on -one action. We're being told it's Jackson Rager against the, the legendary Jeff Hardy. Oh, boy, a TNW, an ACW versus HWF superstar match coming to you up next.